This is Mark Lane on Free Association, and I guess the last man standing in the GOP is Sarah Palin, and she's not even a man. This is what we've been hearing the last two days. People have been trying to uh, track down Sarah Palin, and Charlie Gibson did an interview and this kind of stuff, and they're asking, you know, what's Palin's future? What's she going to do? Well, McCain says that Palin is going to have a big role in the future. Well, I guess the big role being that she gives Tina Fey somebody to make fun of on Saturday Night Live. Ladies and gentlemen, in this quarter weight, 120 pounds, soaking wet, your Fort Smith Fireball, your champion of chicken, your deluxe dueling DJ, he's got locked and ready to rock, Doc. It's Mark Lane. All right, I don't know if you know this, but today is a pretty historic day. Ah, no, 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 I'm not saying that because it was... It was 90 years ago tomorrow that World War II or World War I ended. No, because four years ago, I went out on my first date. But since it's being featured on Mark Lane Versus, you know the other shoe's about to drop. All right, so there was a girl that I had waited, oh my gosh, uh, 21 months to, to date. 21 months to even have a crack at, uh, at trying to be her boyfriend. I'm serious. I waited a year and nine months for this. And so finally the day had come. It was a day, it was a, a month and a day after her 16th birthday when she, you know she could finally date or whatever. And I was taking her out on my first date and on her first date. I mean this I'd been planning this for months. I had been planning this uh like like girls plan their weddings. I'm serious. So finally the day comes and I go and I take her out on a date. Well, I was driving a 1987 Monte Carlo SS with a 3 50 Corvette motor in it. Yeah, this was a real guy's car. Man, it had some power. So maybe someday I'll tell you about the, the, the land speed records I broke with it. And, but the, the car had had some transmission problems with it ever, ever since I'd had it. And so my dad and I, we worked on it and so forth. And we put a new transmission in there, but the, uh, the, the speedometer would not work at all and and then after we, I think we put another one in there the the uh, the RPM gauge would not work as well okay fine so the gauges didn't work I, and that was the way it was so anyway I pick up this girl on on the date finally you know yes uh, and so we go out and her mom had fed us when I picked her up which I did not like I wanted to take her out to dinner. I wanted to take her to dinner, but okay, fine. So we're on our way to the movies, and all of a, su all of a sudden my car, as I get off the, the interstate there on the on-ramp, off the, the off-ramp, it dies. Oh, okay, fine. Well, I had noticed earlier that night my temperature gauge was reading 260, but I disregarded it because remember, the the, odo the uh, speedometer wasn't working and neither was the RPM gauge, so I figured this was another malfunctioning gauge. Well, I'll tell you what malfunctioned next. I tried to start the Monte Carlo, boom! B smoke billows from the, from the engine compartment. The girl next to me starts cussing, and it's not even her car. And all of this is happening, and I can't believe what just happened. My, my car is done. My car is, it's ruined. I will now be relegated to driving a, 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 a hatchback. I, I'm ruined. My, my teenage years are ruined. So I'm not thinking at this moment. So I, I don't know. There were these two guys that, uh, that helped push the car. They, they offered to push the car. I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll steer. Well, where was the girl? She was pushing the car in high heels and a skirt. I'm serious. She helped the two guys. <laughs> push the car <laughs> so you know because I, I was just so I was just so ruined from thinking my car is toast you know this is the end of my life my dad's gonna kill me when I get home and uh, and so then they pushed the car out of the way and uh, and that's about that's about the story of the date and to this day the girl when she introduces, she moved away to Cincinnati a long time ago, but when she introduces, she, t she tells her friends up there about me, that's how I'm known as. The guy that blew up a car on a date and I had to push it. So, uh, also, an interest two interesting side notes. 38 hours later, at church that Sunday, 
I took our family Suburban and parked it vertical in a ditch. Man, you should have seen the dances my dad did that weekend. And then the other interesting side note, the previous owner of that Monte Carlo uh, unfortunately passed away from cancer. And then I think uh, a month and a half later, I was diagnosed with cancer. Pretty weird. All right, let's get on to Rodeo Clowns by Jack Johnson. Another request on 91.3. This concludes another installment of Mark Lane Versus. Tune in next that week for more exciting action, adventure, I'm and cracking up out loud. He's looking at Special Mark Lane. And people are walking by my office, and I'm going, well, I said we have a real well, time to do today. I had a date, almost do the same thing. <laughs> but when you said, I called Steve, and I said, did you hear what he said about four years ago today? No, no, no. It has nothing to do with the war. Da, 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 da. It was my date four years ago, my first date. Oh, Mark, you were hilarious. Thank you. That was the big that, one. That was but about the car and going up the ramp and all that. That's a scream because people can relate to that so much. Well, that was the big one that I've been saving the whole that's, semester. That's funny. That was funny. That was good. Thank that, you. That's a save that. Save this one. This is a good one. We might have to enter this one. Um, put this one in competition. Okay. Don't forget tomorrow, Mad Sports with Steve Braun from 2.30 to 4.30, and he'll be talking with yours truly about none other than, than sports. He asked me to be on a show, so, uh, you know, forget that I'm on there. Listen to his show. It's a good show. Welcome into to Matt Sports. I'm Steve Brown. But I'm joined with Mark Lane. From thanks, thanks for allowing me to be on the show. I'm glad you could be here. So, Mark is, I mean, football is his thing. He's all about the Dallas Cowboys. The man is phenomenal when it comes to football stats that have to deal with the Dallas Cowboys. It's incredible yeah. what you have in your mind. i got to be honest with you. So we're going to go around the league. That's what I'm going to call this little segment. Okay. Around the league with Mark Lane. Okay. It's got a little little ring to it. And first thing i got to talk about is the Detroit Lions. The Detroit – you can't win with a quarterback whose last name is Orlovsky. He ought to be <laughs> – he ought to be, you know, conducting an orchestra somewhere. You know, you can't win with a guy like that. And they cut Drew Henson today, a former Cowboy. Oh, yeah. See, <laughs> back in the day when Jerry Jones, we were drafting pitchers and trying to convert them to quarterback. Now we just draft uh, defensive ends and try to convert them to linebacker. That's a new so thing. So we're getting better. But they named Culpepper their starter mm -hmm. for this week yet again. I don't see them winning anytime soon with that team. Who do they have this week? I'm not even sure. Oh, it's uh, the Carolina Panthers. No. It's not going to happen there. That no. defense is too strong, and that Lions offense is terrible. Yeah. All right, move on to... Monday night's contest last Monday night, 49ers and Cardinals in that debacle. What happened there was the play call on third and goal with four seconds left. I think there was sufficient time to spike the ball and then figure out what you're going to do. But, okay, so they run a dive play. They didn't even hand it to Frank Gore. They didn't even give it to their best running back. They gave it to some... Michael Robinson, who used to be a quarterback for Penn State. That's when you know you're in trouble. When you hand it off to the Penn State, the former Penn State <laughs> Nittany Lion. Yeah. I mean, Joe Paul thinks that guy's a good running back. You're in trouble. <laughs> and uh, and like you said, Frank Gore has all the. I mean, they pay him tons of money, and you're not going to give him the ball. And when it comes down to it, uh, right? It's ridiculous. And, and it was it was on the two yard line. If anything, why not run the cliche bootleg mm -hmm. and then toss it if it works on everybody else. And you're the 49ers. That's what you made your dynasty out of was the catch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, roll around, roll out to the right. Or as, the, or as we Cowboys fans call it, the fluke. The we fluke. can't believe that actually happened. And then we got to go talk about your Dallas Cowboys. Romo <laughs> is back. Where, where was he for the uh, bye week? Did he go to Cancun or no? For this year? No, we don't know what happened. Fox 20, no, not Fox 23. Fox 4 in Dallas. They tried to make something up of where he went. He and some buddies went, and they got, uh, you, know, you know, they went out, and yeah. Jessica Simpson dumped him for his behavior. And I, and I said, okay, if that's true, where's the article? Why aren't they featuring it on their website if it's true? Yeah, so, exactly. But Campbell went to Disney World. Oh, he did? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. So talk about Felix Jones. He's doubtful is what they're saying this week. Yes. Uh, Roy Williams is kind of excited about Romo being back. Do you think? Cowboys can get it going. 
Yes, in 1991, the Dallas Cowboys at six and five took on the Washington Redskins, who were 11 and 0. Uh, it, on ESPN yeah. Sunday Night Football up there at what was called RFK Stadium, yeah. Jimmy Johnson going into the game, he said he knew that this this was a season. If they lost, then they'd have to take on P Pittsburgh at home on, for Thanksgiving, and it just didn't look good. So they had to pull out all the stops, and as Jimmy Johnson famously said, punch the gorilla in the nose with everything you got. That's what the Cowboys are going to have to do this Sunday night. It's very reminiscent of the 91 matchup. All right, that's Mark Lane, Free Association, Wednesdays, 2 to 4. Mark, thanks for coming in, man. Thanks for having me on, Steve. All right.